This is Who's Your Daddy, a game where the dad's job is to keep his baby alive and the baby's objective is to find a way to die. My challenge today is to find a way to get my baby hands on a key, then unlock a secret chest, and then use the ancient artifact to get so sick I poop myself to death. Then I'll win. And more importantly, my brother Melon will lose. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, daddy. I know some new secrets to show you. Sonny, I'm leaving the game if you call me daddy again. Again. Okay, Papa, I found some new secrets I really want to show you, Pa. Okay, just just call me Melon, bro. Why are you being so weird about this? I want to see the secrets. All right, Frederick, follow me. I, I'm not even called Fred. I'm so confused. Don't worry about it. All that matters is deep in the attic. If, if I can... Oh, I can't reach that. Melon, can you reach? Here, 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 here. Let me help you with that. Thank you, Frederick. Now follow me. We're going up. All right, I'm coming. Up here, not only is there a Mr. Taco the cat. There is other secrets lurking. Melon, the first one I want to show you is definitely not a distraction so I can go and do other things. Plug this projector in. Okay, just gotta grab the plug, insert it into the power outlet, and what's going on here? You enjoy this film while I go and do something else. I'll be right back. What is this? This guy's taking stuff out of a drawer. Then there's a baby on the floor. What's he doing? He's grabbing some... I, I don't... What does this have to do with anything? I feel like I'm just watching Who's Your Daddy footage. Oh, no. Oh, the baby's going in the oven. Excellent, goats. While I have Melon distracted, I'll be going downstairs in search of a key. If I can find the Who's Your Daddy key, there's a secret in the attic I can unlock. And his key should be around here somewhere. There it is. Give me that right there. Can I pick it up? Please, let me pick it up. Exit the cat. Dude, what is up with this key? Grab these. I don't care. Just toss them away. It's not like I want to flood the house or something else. I just want the key. Bro, how do I grab this thing? It's so weird right now. Don't troll me. I don't have the patience for this. I'll move the cat. Now give me the key. Really, game? You're gonna bug out like that? <laughs> give me the key! It pops up for like a frame! There's one pixel that I can grab the key on. I ain't gonna cap. This is really toxic. Just, just give me the key. Finally, I got it. Phew! Now where's that kitty cat? Get over here, cat. We gotta ride. I wonder if Melon's enjoying that movie. What? I can barely even see what's going on. Oh, I, I don't really know what's happening. Melon, how's the film? Was it good? Was it cinema? Wait, what the? Where Where are you? You just glitched through the floor for a second. Nah, I'm chilling. I was riding the cat. Now, Melon, for the next secret, I need you to take this TV here that says do not plug in, and I need you to plug it in next to the projector. Okay, where is it? Oh my goodness, are you blind? There's one TV. This one? There's one TV that says do not plug in. What do you mean? That's not a TV that you picked up. Wait, let me see what that says. It says, hold on, do not plug in. Yep, it's this one. I found it. Good. Now take that TV and go plug it in next to the projector. Boom. Well done. Wait, Sonny, I, I plugged in the projector again. Oh. <sighs> You are useless. It's not as easy as you think. It's also not as hard as you're making it look. Bro, this is sad. Bro, where's the plug? The plug isn't in it anymore. You broke it. It's fine. Didn't need that anyways. Wait, the chest is already open? Bro, why is the chest open? Whatever, I unlocked it anyways. Unlocked what? This, Melon. Everything you were doing was leading up to this. I, I don't know what this is. I don't even see you. You don't see me? I'm green. I've turned into an alien and I'm dead. Wait, what the heck? How how did you die? What did you do? I consumed an ancient artifact. What the? I'm so confused, Sonny. I think I died so hard that my game crashed. Yep, my game crashed too. Melon, this time, please don't mess up, all right? Plug the TV in properly. Okay, fine. Jeez. What are you, like, my dad or something? I'm supposed to be your dad. Yes, I'm six months old. I'm totally your dad. You know, you maybe you, like, age really slowly or something. Yes, I'm a time-traveling baby. Now, look, I'm gonna grab this TV. Grabbing the plug. Really hope the plug doesn't glitch again. Oh, my goodness, it's glitching. Just plug it in. The TV exploded! Excellent! Everything is working according to plan! What the- Sonny, where did you go? Where did you go? Get back here. I'm your father and I need to make sure you're okay. I'm fine. I'm actually trying to help you out. I'm coming to the attic now. Where are you? I'm in the kitchen. All right, father. Take the key from me. There is a chest in the attic. Open it up and enjoy what you discover. Okay. Chest in the attic. And now while my father's distracted, I'm gonna flood the house. I took out the piece of 
of piping, turn on the sink, and then let's do the same thing in the kitchen. Hmm, I found the chest, but it's already unlocked. Might as well unlock it again, I guess. And grab the ancient artifact. <laughs> Goats, this is awesome. I'm swimming in the kitchen. But I'm gonna open up the door and go outside. I don't wanna die yet. I wanna let Melon try the ancient artifact. The heck? I swear the house just flooded for a second. Sonny, what's going on? Nothing. Just enjoy the artifact. I wanted you to have a nice time. What? No, there's water everywhere. What have you done? You've ruined the place. No, that, I need to turn the sink off right now. Oh my goodness. What does this artifact even do? I have gained power. Yes, it's power. You're totally not sick. I'm power. I'm dead. I'm alive again. Sonny, you tried to poison me. This ancient artifact does nothing but evil. No, it doesn't work in your hands. Pass it over here. I'll show you how it's done. You see, I take this thing and then I activate it and I have explosive diarrhea. No, it's doing the same thing. It's doing the same thing. Pills, pills, get over here. No, I slipped. Get back here. I don't need pills where I'm going. Actually, yeah, you don't. You're fine. You're healthy. Yes, I know. I'm totally healthy. Now I'm going to make sure you don't do any more silly shenanigans. You hear that, Sonny? I never do anything silly. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, you weren't supposed to see me. See everything, Sonny. Oh, yeah? What if I did pull-ups as a baby? Oh, you got some really long and stretchy arms. Yeah, look at me go. I'm repping. World record inbound. Well, you have one minute remaining, and I'm not going to let you die. Well, it might not be up to you whether I live or die, Melon. Yes, it is. It's always up to me. Sorry, I got to work out. I don't got time for this. Oh, my goodness. You are a strong baby. Hold on. Let me rack some weights up there. Yeah, put a little bit. I'm getting big daddy gains. Bro, I'm getting stronger. Look at my muscles. Wait, you actually are getting stronger. What's going on? And Goatsy doesn't know this, but I'm currently dying. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? No, no, stop. I need to spot you. I don't need a gym spotter. I need to die. I'm running out of time. Get back here. I won't let you get away from me, baby. Let me in the vent. What is this? Let me pick you up. No. Why can't I pick you up? I can only wave at you. The time. My jacked baby arms. I'm running out of time. There's nothing in here. Yes. Yes. You will live. I was too muscular for my own good. Okay, Melon. This time you're the baby. I want you to spot me. Let's go hit the gym. Uh, all right, sounds like a plan, but first I want to enable anti-gravity. That way I can bench press a million weights. Yeah, bro, you just made me go really high up. And you activated the evil robot mom. I may or may not have done that. It's fine, though. What is important is that I get away from you and figure out how to die. No, Melon, you were going to help me lift weights. Yeah, but I found something more important. What happens if I go in this? Fishbowl. All right, I'm grabbing the fishbowl, throwing the fishbowl. Ooh, wait, where'd that fish go? Where'd the little fish go? Rack them up, goats. Rack them up. I'm about to bench big weight. Are you just in the basement ignoring your child? Absolutely. It's gym day. I don't mess around. Bro, look at that posture. Melon, I got crazy powerlifting form. That's good. That's good. I'm really happy for you, father. Keep working on your gym form. No, Melon! Melon, help! I'm gonna die! I need a spotter! That's all good, bro. You got it. You got it. I don't got it. I'm dead. You got it. You're okay. You're gonna do fine. I had to revive myself. That was big weight. Too heavy. You're gonna do fine, bro. Everything's okay. Where are you? Your kid is not okay. My kid is doing something stupid. I already know. Melon, enough. No. No, I was so close. Yes. Open the door. Pick you back up. Wait, no. No! Toss that out of here. Get out of here. You get out of here. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. Set it on fire. Dang it, I turned into the spaghetti man. Ew, dude, you're trying to light your own puke on fire. That's not even oil. That's vomit. What the heck? Why won't it light on fire? I don't understand. Oh, you wanted to light it on fire. Why don't you just say so? It's like this. Do, 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 do. Yes! Burn! I won't let you! No! Burn. The whole house will burn. Dude, the house isn't even burning. You're not very good at fire. You serious? Wait, I'm actually gonna die. I'm gonna die! You're the worst dad ever! I was trying to put you in the pool, but you wouldn't let me cool you down. I wanted to just burn the house. I didn't want to die in the process of it. Well, Melon, you don't always get what you want. Sometimes if you play with fire, you get burned. You want to play with fire one more time? Okay, fine. You know, Sonny, I hope you don't mind. I might rack up some charges on your credit card. That's fine. Let's work together to burn the house down. I don't really like your mother anymore. I'm looking for a nice separation agreement, so nothing like some arson to help. Yep, that's always a good idea. Yep, I'm gonna start with the laundry room, my least favorite place in the house. Melon, it's on fire! It's already on fire! What's already on fire? The 
laundry. Oh, that's fine, bro. That's probably just gonna help dry the clothes off. Good point. I'll start burning the kitchen next. Just, uh, drop that there. What do we have here? Ah, bleach. Yeah, we should light some bleach on fire. What happens if I eat kitty caca? Oh, there's poo in my face! Gross, bro. Why would you eat poo? I told you guys Melon eats poo. What the heck, bro? <laughs> this is disgusting. I've been saying it for years. He likes eating compost. No, I don't like eating compost. Only when I'm a baby. Hey, Dad. I'm really quite surprised the whole house isn't on fire yet. I ain't gonna cap. Well, did you even light the house on fire? Yeah, dude. The laundry room is burning up good. You should probably light the wood on fire, not the laundry room tiles. Like this. With this dynamite. Good idea. I got more flames on the way. Yep, there we go. Burn it all. Burn it all. I'll make a trail into the kitchen. Yep, that's nice. Perfecto. Let's just drink this bleach really quick. Ooh, that tastes good. Wait, you're drinking bleach? Why? Because, dude, it sounds tasty. It's like milk. I need to find the meds. Where are the meds? Ah, here we go. You're gonna wash that bleach down with some detergent, okay? I'll think about it. Where are the meds? Where are the meds? Where are the meds? Can of beans. Where are you, baby? I got beans for ya. Sonny, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. This is a bad idea. Let me give you a hug. Oh, no, the door's broken. Sonny, I need to get in the water. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Sunday. Oh, thank you. I got you with the meds, brother. Now eat everything that I give you. I'm still about to die if you don't put me in the water. You're in the water. Oh, thank goodness I cooled off. I got you. I got you. Now, how do I get out of the pool? You don't. You need to chill out while I take care of business. What are you trying to do, Sonny? I swear you could break this rock with a pool noodle. I don't think that's how it works. Oh, well. I tried. I did my best, sis. Sonny, you did a bad job at burning down this house. No cap? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot harder to burn the whole house down than I thought. Well, I think it's time for me to try and die now. See ya. Wait, 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 Melon, I have a better idea. Burning down the house, we gotta put a knife into an electrical outlet. Oh, good point. Where are the knives? I'm trying to put a lighter into the outlet. Did that even work? What if I do this? Grab a toaster. Hello, Sonny. Don't mind me. Melon, what are you doing with that toaster in the bathroom? Don't worry about it. And just help me up here for a second. It's okay. I'll put the water on. I think I know what you're trying to do. Oh, you're such a great father. Not a problem. I'm always happy to help. How do I jump? Why can't I do this? Don't worry, I'll plug in the toaster for you. Now you can make bathtub bread. I can't even get in. Don't worry, I'm in the bathtub. I'll test it out. Uh, I think the bathtub is flooding the whole house. Dang it! I couldn't even get in the tub. Let's go! The game's over! I don't even know where the toaster went, bro. I was trying to electrocute us. Whatever you want, Sonny. And if you go to want to be winners, press that like button to support our channel and subscribe if you're new. Today, I'm Sonny's daddy, and I have only one goal. To make sure he survives, but it won't be easy. There's endless ways for Sonny to hurt himself, and I've got to keep him away from them all. Today, Sonny, I'm your daddy, and if you're not the greatest drummer of all time by the time you're 18, then there's going to be severe consequences. But I don't want to be a drummer. Drums suck. We just smack things. Actually, wait a second. This is awesome. Yeah, that's right. It is awesome. Now keep playing the drums. I'm trying my hardest. Maybe the drums aren't for you. Fine. I didn't want to play them anyways. How do I get off of these? Please get me off of the drums. No, the drums are calling you. This is it. This is what you needed. Good. I don't want to play them anymore. What the heck? Are you just disobeying me for fun? No, I would never. But instead, I would use this tablet to observe the baby cams. Uh, that is a really weird view. Give me that. Let's see. Baby cams. What's going on here? Yeah, what the heck? I'm not even seeing anything. Good. Very good. Observe the cameras. Observe them. Next. Previous camera. I'm not seeing anything. Wait a second. Where the heck did you go? Nowhere. You'll never see me again. You're literally right here. You weren't supposed to see me. Listen here, son. Right now, I'm gonna feed you some good old- Hey! You're not feeding me nothing. I'm out of here. I'll find my own food in the kitchen and pave my own way. Whatever. I just gotta make sure you don't die, or mama's gonna be very upset. Open up this refrigerator. No way! Nutritional beans! Oh no, what have you done? You're pooping everywhere! No, stop! I thought these were highly nutritious, but instead I got food poisoning! Hey! Oh, I feel better now. Surprisingly, that wasn't bad for your health, but you did just- Ow! Sorry, I'm eating wood right now. I'm eating all the stool chunks. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Give me these. I need to force feed you this now. Boom. You're okay. Yeah, that does feel better. I had a lot of splinters in my stomach a second ago. Now then, what do I want to eat here? Bro, your poop is making me slip everywhere. What the heck? I just glitched out of the world.
world and respawned. Good, because I needed some milk. Oh my goodness. This poop is going to be the death of me. That is what I want to hear. And while my poop is a good distraction, it's time for me to get to work. Plug the drain, turn on the sink, and let it flood. Nah, I'm going to turn that off. Aw, uh, you're no fun, Dad. Fun? You literally tried to drown us. And now you're trying to burn the house down. No, I'm just trying to burn your car because it looks bad. Got to grab this candle and put it away from all this gasoline. Yeah, you should totally do that. Totally, totally do that. And then I'll just come pick it back up anyways. And burn! No, lighting the house on fire today. Fine, I won't grab that candle. I'll grab this one! Now die! Hey! Better chill out. Big mistake, Papa Melon. I've got to stop him. I've got to stop! Oh no, it's too late. Burn! Yes! I'll destroy your car! No, there's got to be something around here somewhere. There's got to be a fire extinguisher. Where is it? And while he's distracted with that fire, I will plug this in here and turn on the sink. Where is the fire extinguisher? I don't know, Papa. Why don't you look for it? Did you turn the sink on again? I would never. Come on. Where's the fire extinguisher? Where is it? This is getting real bad. There it is. Give me this. And then extinguish the fire. Yes. I've saved the house. Okay, goats. While Melon is dealing with one fire, I shall start another. Can I find a way to ignite the upstairs floors? I have the candle. I just need something to burn. In this area, there are some things that should probably not not be poured out on the floor. Yes. Wait, does it break? It does. And if I throw all of these, I think I could start another house fire. Burn! I said burn! I don't think it's working. I, I might have miscalculated. Guys, I know where Sonny is based on the shadows. I saw his shadow, which means he's got to be upstairs right now. Hey, Sonny! What do you want? Are you in my workspace right now? No, I was too no. busy breaking all of your drinks. Oh, I can see you, right? Oh. Well, that's awkward. Now I put you in my baby restrainer. Wait, what the heck? Give me back my baby restrainer. Let me go. Set me free. Why can I keep punching this? Dang it, I ate my baby restrainer oh, by accident. Oh, you glitched me, Melon. And now I can fly. What are you even doing right now? You made a big mistake. Once I get outside, it's over. You're never getting outside. I've got you tased. Watch this. Come on, start moving. No! Where are you? I'm flying. I told you I can fly. You really think it's going to be that easy to die in my household? I'm the best daddy there ever was. Well, I guess I can't fly anymore. You glitched me. Or unglitched me. Now get tased. No. Stay away from the cars. I'm warning you. I can fly! Bye-bye, Melon! Wait, what the heck? How did you do that? I believe I could fly. I believe I could touch the sky. Hey, Melon, look at the road. I'm about to splat. I don't understand. What have you even done? It was your doing. No! Oh, thank goodness there's no fall damage. I gotta fly again. I'm zucking you. You ain't going nowhere. Dude, I'm way up. What do you mean? Dang it, dude. How are you even doing that? It's a mystery, Melon. It's a great, great mystery. How am I surviving? it is the better question. You have one minute remaining, Sonny. Am I just stuck in your hands now? Yes. You can never leave me. Now we will ride this mower together. What are you doing? Fly, Dad! Fly! What the heck's happening to me? This cannot be healthy. What have you done? I've got to drop you. You're going crazy. Oh, my goodness. Now, I have 20 seconds to get to the front of the house. Oh, no. I've got to stop this. If it's the last thing I do. Drive. I got to drive. I could still clutch this. There's not a lot of time, but I could do it. Five more seconds. Get to the road. Yeah, I win. Well, I still got splat by a car. Now let me show you how to be the baby, sonny. All right, switch teams. Good luck keeping this baby alive. That's all I've got to say. I got a better idea, Melon. Why don't we play a game of hide and go seek or hide and go sleep? You should just take a nap. Okay, I'm hiding. Wait, where'd you go? You're not even in your room. Exactly. You have no Right. Dang it, you could see my stuff, couldn't you? Actually, no. I just figured there was no time for you to go anywhere else. Just give me a second, bro. You gotta give me my two minutes. All right, you have two minutes to hide starting now. Oh, you just got headshotted. Wait, that was you? I was wondering what happened to me. Why can't I move? Go hide, you stupid baby! You glitched my game. I can't even do anything. Here, I'll pick you up and put you down. Sonny, nothing is working. I don't know what you've done to me. Just move. I can't move, you fool. Well, that's it. Time for me to sacrifice a baby. Wait, I don't want to die suddenly. Wait, no, no, you're a terrible father. What are you doing? I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm too young. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I wanted to do last game. And now let him cook.
Uh, I was just joking! It's too late for you. The only thing that would make your situation worse is if I could find the dynamite. I'm going to die. And there's nothing I can do about it. You're the worst father ever! Here, just drink this. It's good for you. I'm dead. Oh, yeah, you look a bit crispy. I'm just gonna eat you now. <laughs> Bro, I actually just <laughs> ate you. What is wrong with you, Sonny? You killed your kid and then you ate him. Well, of course, I cooked you, bro. Naturally, I don't want to let that go to waste. All right, I won't cap. This round was pretty messed up. Let's start over fresh. And we're back, Melon. This time, I promise I'm not gonna eat you. Okay, thank you. I guess that's the bare minimum I could ask of my father. And on top of that, let's play hide and seek. You get one minute to hide starting now. All right, let's go. I can't believe I get to play hide and seek. I've got to make sure he doesn't find me, though. And I should also leave a trail of destruction. I mean, distractions. <laughs> so, to leave this trail of distractions, let's head over to the garage and grab myself one gasoline can. Then let's get to the wooden floor over here, where you could really start a fire, and leave the trail of gasoline. Oh, yes. So much flames. Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna burn this whole house down. I just gotta get up here and grab this candle. Oh, my... I can get on this light? Since when could I do that? Can I also get up to the vent up there? Hold on. Go to this light, then I go up here. Yo, that's the perfect hiding spot. First things first, though, I gotta grab this candle. Hey, Melon, 10 seconds left to hide. Okay, give me a second here, Sonny. Yeah, I'm giving you 10 of them. Well, now there's about seven left. Hold on. Okay, there we go. I lit it on fire. Now it's time to jump. Light. Oh, no, I messed it up. Sonny, you can come and find me now. Alrighty. Time to win me some hide and seek. This is gonna be awesome. Why is the kitchen burning? Not good. I need water or a fire extinguisher. Wait, what are you doing in that ventilation? Doesn't matter. You didn't find me. <laughs> water, 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 water. Throw the water out the flames. It did not work. Oh, no. Good luck dealing with that fire, Sonny. Oh, I already got rid of it. That wasn't so bad, actually. And I know you went in here somewhere. What the heck? How do I get in the vent? You can't get in the vent, Sonny, which means you're never going to find me. That's not true, actually. I simply must locate a shrinking potion if I wish to get in the ventilation. Yo, check it out, goats. I found myself another air vent. Oh, my goodness. This was an accident. Uh-oh. I'm in my mother's room now. Let me get out of here. Whoa. I'm on the balcony? I didn't even know you could get up here. Yo, my spot that's actually sick. There's no way Sonny's gonna find me. So you went in the vents and you went upstairs somewhere. That's what my spider senses are tingling for. Yes, indeed. So I'll use the tablet to check the security cams. Nothing sus there. Uh, not seeing anything on this camera. Where is he? Let me tell you, Sonny, you ain't finding me. Where the heck did you hide? What about the baby cams? What am I even looking at? The baby cams are useless. Give you a hint, Sonny. I am no longer inside the house. Impossible. Wait, why is there a vent up here that's broken. Uh, don't worry about that. How do I go in there? I need to go in there. That's it. There's gotta be another way. And goats, I think it's about time I go on this air vent and get to the roof. How do I miss it? Are you kidding me? I can still make it up there. Gotta jump on this box. Oh my goodness, this is so cursed. I should have been able to make it up there. Guess I'll hide in this bush. Melon, where on earth are you hiding? I'm hiding on the earth, Sonny. Is this you? Nope, that is a football. Sonny, I already told you I'm outside. Yeah, I'm looking outside. I am checking every little bush. You shouldn't check bushes. Bushes are a stupid waste of time. Yeah, they probably are. Except I suspect you're in one in the front yard. No, I would not do such a thing. Bro, where are you? I'm checking everything. What is this? Can I stand up, please? Why is this really close? He's right next to me right now. Maybe these bushes? No. These ones? No. What just hit me? No! Did you get hit by a car? Yes, I got splatted. Goats, that was really close. Luckily, he didn't find me, which means I can chill out here for the rest of the round. Okay, if you're hiding in a bush, I might as well use the lawnmower to speed this process up. <sighs> Let's make sure there's no one in these bushes. Sonny, you don't gotta do that. That seems a little bit silly, don't you think? No, I'm just cutting the lawn and cutting the bushes. No! Found him! Found him! Yeah! That's what you get for playing hide and seek with me. Nobody messes with me. You're gonna murder me. You're gonna murder me. Actually, you're right. That's a terrible idea. What am I doing? Let me away. Let me away from this guy. No. I'm so sorry that I almost got you killed, Melon. Thank you. Now you can uh, leave me alone and not kill me fully. What? That actually knocked me over. See you later, sucker. I'm out of here. Yeah, I wouldn't be so sure that you're getting too far. Yeah, you sure about that? Dude, I'm too thick. I can't move. You'll never get me. How the heck? 
did you fit in here? That's what I thought. Now give Papa a hug. What are you doing to me? I'm putting you in timeout. Bro, I look real sus. Here, this is the timeout chair. Uh, there you go. Why can't I see anything? Yeah, what just happened? Did I win? Is the game over? Why is my screen black? What did we do? What did you do to me, Sonny? All I could see is a black screen. Same. So I guess that means the dad wins. And if I look closely, I can see a subscribe button. Press it right now. Who's your daddy is full of secrets? And today, Melon and I are gonna do our best to find as many as possible. Comment what secrets you know about in game. Then in the next video, we'll try testing out your ideas. Also, check out our latest merch drop, the Diamond Loot Box Collectibles, over on SunnyandMelon.com. Let's go! Melon, my fellow baby, are you ready to embark on a journey to find every secret in Who's Your Daddy? Of course I am, Sonny! But where do we go first? First things first, I just want to say hi, you look kind of cute. And disgusting, bro! Why are you using that old player bottle? That baby looks cursed! I look beautiful. If anything, you look cursed, dude. Your head is way too big. I think my head is perfect and adorable. Well, Melon, the first thing I want us to do is head into the kitchen. Follow me. Okay, what's in the kitchen? See these pieces of trash that look like paper that just vanished before my eyes? Are you joking? Yeah, what about them? I was gonna say, we need to eat them because we need to obtain the power of paper. Oh, uh, well, I guess we can't do it anymore. Maybe there's more paper here. Hold on, let me look around. Paper, paper, paper. You think our dad's got paper stored around the house somewhere? Nah, but he does have this. Bro, chill. What are you doing? Bro, he has some kind of circular vehicle. Why is he just keeping this around in here? I don't know, but I found the key, and this is exactly what we need for the next part of our adventure. Oh, wait, all the paper's back, actually. Hold on, let me just throw the key. All right, I'm gonna eat the paper. Oh, that was delicious. Now come with me, Melon. Because we've eaten that paper, look at what we can do. What can we do, Sonny? You see that giant boulder over there? Yeah. What is it made of? Rock. And how does it work when you play rock, paper, scissors? Paper beats rock. I'll beat the rock. Let's go. The power of paper has been bestowed upon us. Now, Melon, I want to be very clear on something. Whatever you do when you drop down here, do not press the button that summons the dad. Okay, I'm not going to summon the dad. Chill. Good. I just want to explore down here because this is the newest secret. And then we'll go check out some other old and epic secrets. Press to request exit. Is that the one I'm supposed to press? Do not do it. Okay, okay, I won't do it. Let's try these other ones like toilet controls. How do you jump on that thing? Just press E, bro. I'm sitting on it. Chill. Can't, I can't even do it. You are, whoa. There, you can have this comfy stool. I'll take this one. I can't do it on either of them, Sonny. I don't know what's going on. You just highlight it and then click the thing. I, it's not working. I don't know what you want me to say. You are the dum-dum. Whatever, I'll just press some stuff. You could hop on the counter and look at things. Street controls. I would like vans, please. Summoning the van man. I don't see the van man. Maybe he's out there in person, though. Uh, I'm gonna go back up. Yeah, me too. Activate air launch. I can't touch anything, bro. My game's glitched. Dude, maybe you need to get good. Melon? Melon, where are you? I activated the air. It says heat wave, it tension, it's hot outside. Sonny, what did you do? I just activated the air and I summoned in the van man. What is the van man? I don't know, but I'm going up! I have a feeling the van man's in the front. Yeah, bro, it is too toasty. You should head inside. I want to show you something. No, I want to see what the van man is. All right, fine. I'm gonna hit you with a football. Hello, Mr. Van Man. I don't know if he's gonna show up. Yeah, there's there's no man in a van. But I think I know why. Oh, no, Melon, that's the van man. Run! What? He's got baby nappers and candy, bro. I'm going in there. Hello, Mr. Van Man. Oh, no, Melon. Oh, I didn't even get inside. Well, that's good. That could have been really bad. But don't worry, the next time the van man's here, I'll use this item. I'm calling for help, Melon. Is that is that what that does? It does. Look over there! I summoned a bear! Uh, Sonny, that is not help. That is a dangerous animal that's probably gonna kill us. Nah, he'd eat the van man, not little babies. Oh, you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Hello, Mr. Bear. Sonny, he's gonna kill me! Run, Melon, every baby for themselves! Oh, no. Why did you do this to me? I'm gonna get mauled by a bear! I I got your back, Melon. Run! Get inside the house! I'm dead. Oh, well, I hit the bear with a rock. I tried to help. But at least he fixed my game. I can finally sit on stuff again. Nice. Now, Melon, it's a good thing you died, because that's the next place we want to be, is right here in the bedroom. Sorry, I just went downstairs. 
Pathetic. Why? Why do we want to be in the bedroom anyways? Because I got a surprise here for you. Open up that door, would you? Diaper! Ew! Thank goodness you missed me with that. That's disgusting. No, no, no. For real, though, I want us to go in here. Trust me. The gravity room? Yes. Get inside, and then we close the door. Get in, get in, get in. Okay, I'm in. It's also a teleporter. How? Just wait patiently, Melon. And when we next open these doors, we will be outside. Nah, quit the cap. We're still in the room. Oh, yeah. Maybe it did it wrong. Well, I, I thought it was gonna do something like teleport us. Here, let's give it an extra five seconds. I might have been clickbaited by another YouTuber. You probably got clickbaited, Sonny. Whatever. I'm going outside the old-fashioned way. There's something else I want us to do anyhow. What's that? Go in this vent? No, I mean, if you want to go in the vent, you go in the... Oh, I walked into my own poo. Nice one, bro. I'm going through the vent. Unless maybe we need something special to activate it. There are these thingies up here. Maybe I needed this. Hold on. It gives me a revive if I die. Then I'll close myself in here and something cool should happen right sonny the bear's chasing me again and the bear can fly i don't like this bro flying bears that sounds terrifying what have you done melon this is what i wanted to show you check it out check it out check it out what are you wearing right now it's a revive device okay surprise we're going to the attic no way oh oops sorry yeah what are you doing I'm trying to use this ladder it's weird i'm up bro look at these vehicles up here i'll take the rocking chair and i'll take the tricycle this is awesome bro. What else is up here? There's gotta be some other cool easter eggs. There's a vent, some bananas. I found a compass. Dude, it actually does something, but I'm not sure where we're supposed to go. I found a projector. Here, you take this. Here, you take this. I got a laser light. Look at this. I can point the laser. Do you think we could bother our dog with this? Ow, you just lasered me. Oh, wait, this does damage? Chill, dude, chill. I gotta try using that on the dog. Oh, wait, we have a cat? Bro, we also have a bat. Melon, wake the cat up so I can use the laser pointer. What happens if I eat the bat? Sonny? I'm a bat and I can fly! No way! You actually transformed? That is crazy! No way! I didn't think this was a thing! I gotta get outside. And I've gotta get outside now. I'm baby bat. Can the bear get me up here? Hello, Mr. Bear. Hello. Melon, you might be a vampire bat, but I found an old TV that says do not plug in. So you know what I gotta do, right? The bear is flying again, Sonny. I don't care about the bear. I wanna go plug in an old TV. He killed- What the heck just killed- Oh, the heat wave killed me. Nice one. Well, Melon, I'm about to plug in a TV. You ready to watch what happens? Yeah, what's gonna happen? What the- Where did it go? Did you eat the TV? No, it just exploded when I plugged it in and I got an achievement, but I don't know what happened. Sonny, you are a fool sometimes. Oh, whatever, Melon. I'm going back upstairs. I want to see what this cat does. While you do that, I'm gonna order some stuff off Dad Mart. Cool, Melon. Really cool. Does the cat follow the laser? Huh, not really. Really? It just goes to sleep. That's not a cat. Cats don't do that. They follow lasers. Well, I'm gonna ride the cats through the vent. Oh, Melon, this is glitchy. The cat can't leave the attic, bro. This is sad. Oh, wait. I got her out. Yo, you're riding the cat? No way. Dang right. Why don't you get the dog? Let's have an animal race. Wait, what? Or I could ride you. Bro, this is crazy. Hold up. Can I ride the dog while we're riding the cat while you're riding on my back? Oh my goodness. That might be next level. Let's see. Let's see. Hello, doggo. He doesn't like the laser beam. Oh, ow, ow. Sorry, Melon. Nope, I just switched up. I'm riding the dog now. And what happened to the cat? Why is the cat sleeping? Oh, there we go. Also, is this my TV stuff? Hold on, I gotta plug this in. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna put the cat in the shredder. Bro, don't put the cat in the shredder. Okay, fine. I won't do it. Obviously, you put the cat in the coconut and shake it all up and then put it in a microwave. No, I'm not gonna do that to the kitty. Okay, Melon, let's race. I'm going out front. All right, there is a bear out here, may I remind you? Well, you have dynamite. Why don't you just kill the bear. Oh, true. Let's actually go do that real quick. Bear, you think you're special, huh? I'll scare the bear away with my barks. Sonny, we need a candle for the dynamite. Melon, your old vampire bat body is on the roof. Yeah, you got a problem? And I just died out of nowhere, and I think the bulldog's dead too. No, you, you died from the heat wave, Sonny. <sighs> Sad times. Sonny, you actually can launch on this firework. Why is the bear on the roof? What is this? <laughs> Melon, are you launching off the firework? I want to, Sonny, get a candle and come up here. All right, I'm on the way. I have a candle. Now, right up here in style. How do I get up there? Do you have the dog? Where's the doggo? I see a lot of dead bodies. That's all I see. Sure you don't see a doggo? No, I got the doggo. Okay, I just jumped on the roof. That was easy. Now send me flying into space, Sonny. There's a bear trying to kill you. It's okay. It'll be fine. All right, I will try and launch you. It's pretty hard to light things in this game. You got it. I believe in you. Okay, so I 
Aim it. Aim. No, no, don't throw it. Don't, don't throw it. Don't throw it. Get real close. Oh, you just, you just kind of like this. Oh my goodness. You suck, Sonny. The bear is going to kill me now. I'll get a new candle melon. It's chill. Don't worry. Hop on the cat. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Thank you. Where's the handle? Where is the candle? Uh, I threw it over the fence. Why? Why are you making this so much harder than it needs to be? I'm not. It's just not easy to light that thing. Where, which, which fence did you throw this candle over? Just go inside. We'll get a new one. Bro, this cat is zooming. Low key. We go. I'll grab one too. Double the candles. Let's go. It's a hot one out here. I'm probably going to die, Sonny. All right. Well, then hurry up. I don't know why you enabled a heat wave. It was the most annoying thing you could have done. I didn't enable it. It's default. Also, bro, look across. There's a dad on a diving board. What is he doing? He is goofy. Sonny, try and light it. I'm trying. And I just fell off the roof again. I don't know. I'm dead again. I'm trying to light it, bro. I'm not sure how this works. I'm clicking on it. Is there another way I could do this? My candle flame is right on the fuse. That's it. I'm ordering a lighter. Oh, there's literally a lighter item? Yeah. Where's the iPad? Here it is. I want to see what this key is for. Dad's got to have a secret stash around here somewhere. Here we are. Lighter acquired. Sonny, you just left the dog in the middle of the street? Yeah, bro. I've moved on to new mysteries. All right. Well, I'm going to light this firework if it's the last thing I do. Well, it, it might be. Okay. I'm on the roof. Exit the dog. Turn the lighter on. Yes, I've lit it up and I'm on the firework and I'm I'm dead. That was the most anticlimactic thing ever. Did it just explode? It launched me like five feet in the air and exploded and I died. Nice. Well, I'm glad I didn't bother witnessing that. Anyways, what other secrets are there, Sonny? That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. I got this key, but I'm wondering what it opens. Is there a secret vault upstairs in our parents' room? Oh, uh, we'll take a gander. I'm also about to die. Make the jump. Take cover. One person Set health and dead. I'm almost certain you enabled a heat wave in the bunker. I probably pressed some buttons. It was an accident. Not seeing any vault around here, Sonny. Yeah, and I don't see any secrets in Dad's office either. I can open up all his drawers anyway. Have you been to the basement? Yeah, just check there. How? I'm thinking, Melon, we've busted most of the secrets. Except I found a meatball. And I'm gonna clog the toilet with a meatball. Are you sure that's a good idea, Sonny? I couldn't think of an even better idea than clogging a toilet with a meatball because it kind of looks like a poop. Oh, gross. I put the meatball on the toilet seat. I'll just leave it there. Well, Melon, I think we busted most of the mysteries. Yeah, I think you're darn tootin' right. So all that's left to do really is subscribe. And make sure you head to sunnyandmelon.com to check out our awesome merch. We've got giant plushies and we've got a collectible toy series. And Melon, I see something. The giant robot mom. There is another secret. How do we get to that thing? What giant robot mom? Outside the giant robot space head. Oh, I have no idea. Is it even possible? We'll have to find out next time. So make sure you're subscribed. Today in Who's Your Daddy, we're diving deep into a secret world hidden in this bunker. Will we be able to uncover the secret Easter egg? Or will this giant rock be indestructible? We have to find a way to break it to access the new bunker. And can you goats access our merch website? Sunnyandmelon.com to get new plus and collectible toys like our diamond loot box. Let's get goaded! Melon, we're both babies, and today I want to show you a brand new secret update. Really? 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 Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Melon, follow me. First things first, let's activate low gravity. Oh my goodness. Sonny, I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, it's been in the game for a long time, but we never opened up this closet. And if you go in there, it activates low gravity. And now with our new space babies, let's get out of here. I'm going out in style through a vent well then just meet me in the backyard i don't know where you vented yeah that was that was not a good idea i'll be out back i'm waddling along opening the old sliding door and check it out bruh the great outdoors they've done some graphical updates and it looks really weird and creepy there's a giant face looking at us over there oh my goodness you're right sonny and all around us are clones of our house yep this ain't good melon but i'll tell you what is pretty good this boulder back here. If we can find a way to break it, we're gonna unlock the secret bunker. How the heck are you supposed to break a rock that big? I don't know. I'm gonna try hitting it with my head. Let's go! Smash! It, it didn't work. It didn't work. What about this rock over here, Sonny? Nah, that's a forbidden meteorite rock. We don't go near that thing. Okay. So, if I had to break a rock, I would probably use another rock. Are there any rocks around here? Bruh, you can search for rocks to smack the big boulder. I'm gonna try and ram it with my baby mobile. I'll throw a soccer ball at it. 
Oh, that didn't work. Yeah, no surprises there. It's literally a rock, and that's a soccer ball. Sonny, ram it with the baby mobile. I'm lining it up. This thing's kind of hard to control with low gravity. I think I made a big mistake. I believe in you, Sonny. Bro, I'm flying! I'm losing control of this thing! Sonny, I believe in you. Okay, I've lined it up, and... Boost! Yeah, no nothing happened, Melon. We're gonna need something bigger, Sonny. Much bigger. A lawnmower! Yo, hit that rock! Uh, Sonny, I don't think it's working. <laughs> nice try, bro. We're gonna have to find some real weapons. Ramming it with vehicles was a pretty good idea, but it turns out it doesn't work. Let's see if we can find some items that actually have a slap ability. <gasps> or maybe Melon. Do you know where the dynamite is? There's dynamite in this game? Yeah, we just gotta track it down. Wait, what the heck is happening to the lawnmower? Just got sent to outer space. Uh, Melon, are you still on the lawnmower that's now in outer space? No, but it's just stuck on the roof. I guess we're never driving the lawnmower again. That's fine. We don't need it. Instead, let's locate some dynamite and try to explode this rock. You're absolutely right, Sonny. Let's see. If I was a stick of dynamite, I'd probably be in the garage. Let me just open these all up. Take a peek. And no dynamite so far, Melon, but there's a crowbar. Maybe you can whack it with that. Wait, I found a nail gun. Maybe I can shoot the rock with this. That's not a bad idea, Sonny. If you put nails in the correct point of the rock, it could weaken it. Yes, and then we should be able to smack it with our large baby heads. Now, where's this dynamite? Yeah, you keep looking for the dynamite. I'll test out the nail gun. I'm going in, Melon. It's time to fire this nail gun. Oh! Nailed that rock up good! Can I do it again? Oh, oh. Doing it again. Do it again. One more. Rapid fire. Rapid fire! Melon, I have decorated the rock, but unfortunately, it hasn't even cracked a little bit. <sighs> I threw the nail gun at the rock and still nothing happened. Well, on to the next object. There's gotta be something around here that's a little more dangerous. Mm, like a candle? You could try lighting the rock on fire. That's a great idea! I'll grab some gasoline and you bring a candle. I think I have a better idea, Sonny. Glizzies! You're gonna throw a wiener at the rock. You really think that's gonna work? Yeah, I do think it's gonna work, Sonny. And then you're gonna be so embarrassed that you were smack-talking me. Yeah, we'll see about that one. From deep! Oh, uh, I hit the rock. It didn't do anything. It's okay. Did you bring the candle? We can light it on fire now. All right. I'll grab the candle really quick. And I will douse this rock in gasoline. I really hope this works, Melon. So do I. I'm jumping on the rock, and I'm covering it in oil, Melon. Lots of gasoline's on there now. Light her up. Yeah! Is it working? I don't think it's working, Sonny. I, I think the gas only works inside the house. I don't think any of this stuck on the lawn, either. Dang it. Curses! We'll have to think of another idea. I want to find that dynamite. Maybe it's in the basement. Melon, do you remember how to get downstairs to the basement? It's outside, Sonny. Well, if you know your way down there, how about you go look for the dynamite, and I will use a baseball bat, which is classified as a dangerous object, and try and beat up the rock. That's a great idea, Sonny. And now I'm accessing the basement. Is there any dynamite in here? No, I'm not seeing any dynamite, Sonny. Dang it, I thought for sure it was stored down there. Seeing some pipes, basketball, there's some cool stuff down here, though. Well, if any of those objects look like a weapon that could smack a rock open, bring them over. Maybe like a weight? A weight might be solid enough. You're right, that's made of metal. That's way stronger than a rock. Also, home run, baby! Oh, I tried hitting the rock, but I hit all the nails instead. Let's do this again. Yeah, this thing does not budge, bro. Fear not, Sonny, for I am here. All right, hit it with a weight. Yeah! Nice shot. Is that your only option, throwing it? Um, let's see. Yeah, I can only throw this thing. Dang it, bro. We have to figure out the secret object that can open this rock up. Hmm. Melon, what if we need the legendary couch? I don't know if that's gonna work, Sonny. We've tried a lot of other moving vehicles. I think we need a specific object. Do you think maybe a pool noodle? No, that's definitely not gonna work. That's stupid. Well, I'm gonna try it anyways. This thing is all wriggly, Melon. What if you need that? So it has like a clap and a slap like a whip. Sonny, if that pool noodle works, I will give you all 
all my Robux. Really? All of your Robux. All five million. Yes, all five million. All right. I'm testing out the pool noodle. Get over here, Melon. You gotta witness this. Okay, I'm walking over. What are you bringing with you? Candle. What a shot, bro. You nailed that. Holy smokes, bro. You hit me with flour from there? Yeah, wasn't that pretty epic? That was a great shot. And now I'm gonna use my pool noodle. Slap it. Come on, break the rock open. Something's happening, I think. Sonny, nothing's happening to the rock. Hold on, I need to get in better position. Just maybe I could slap it. Melon, how do we break this stinking rock? I don't know. I feel like we've tried everything. Sonny, I think I figured out how to break the rock. If I head to Dad Mart and scroll around, here it is, the dynamite. I'll order as many as I possibly can. That's genius, Melon. I'll meet you at the boulder shortly. Now, let's see. Where are these things delivering? Yo, wait. There's so much dynamite at the front door. What the heck? I gotta order more. Where's this coming from? It's just spawning out of the abyss. Sonny, I found dynamite. I also found other rocks if you want to bring them. Nah, bruh. You get the dynamite. That's gonna be plenty. Do you need a candle or something to light the fuse? Yeah, I'm gonna need a candle, Sonny. If you could bring that, that would be very convenient. Candle acquired, brother. I'm on the way. Let's explode this boulder. All right. I've placed the dynamite next to it. And I will come and light that fuse for you. If this doesn't work, Sonny, nothing will. There's the dynamite. And light it up. Uh, Melon, how do we light this? Dude. You make this so complicated. It's lit, Sonny! It's gonna blow! Nice one! Come on, please work! Come on, come on! <laughs> Melon, you went flying! But I think it actually worked! Look, the rock is cracked! No way. And Melon, I think we have to eat it. That's the only way in. How can you eat a rock? It was so hard to break this thing, but now we're just consuming it like it's nothing? Bro, this game. And check it out, Sonny. The bunker. I'm going in! I'm with you, brother! What's down here? A cool trampoline. Oh, that's a metal fan. What else? Button. Non-threatening object. Yeah, I'll press that. Whoa. There's cameras all around the house here. Melon Dad's here! What are you talking about? Sonny? Why is he in the bunker? Ah! I'm getting tased! Yeah, same here! I got baby disabled! No, exit the comfy stool. What is this? Melon, it teleported us back to the crib. Why? I've got an idea, though. What if we're riding a vehicle? Can it still laser us? Melon! Melon, I'm here! I got the bulldog! And I got my whip. I don't know how this is gonna work, Sonny, but we'll find out. Just go down the hole. All right. Oh my goodness! We're going in! <laughs> oh, I lost my bulldog, maybe? What is happening? Sonny, I'm getting tased. I'm getting tased. No, me too! Just pull this lever! Pull the lever, Melon! I activated something! What did you activate? What's happening? I don't know. What's happening? You want to pull the levers at the same time? Sure. Okay, you pull that one, I'll pull this one. Ready? Go, go, go! I'm disabled, Sonny. Dang it, Melon! How are you supposed to pull the lever? I don't understand. Just jump and press E on it really quick. We have to do this at the same time to activate something very nice, known as emergency shutdown. To initiate the shutdown, both stations must be armed. Warning, exit station after arming. That sounds pretty fun. Sonny, let's just get up there and do it. You ready? I'm ready, bro. I got my lever selected. How can you- I can't select the lever. I don't understand how you're seeing that. Melon, I'll do this lever. You try the other one. You gotta just jump up on the counter and flick it real fast. Get the angle down and give me a heads up when you're going for it. Alright, ready? In three, two, one, go! Nope. Can't do it. You didn't flick it. You didn't flick it. I can't do it, Sonny. It's impossible. Melon, get on the bulldog. I got a comfy stool and I can pull my lever. I've got it, Sonny. Are you ready? Yes. Pull the lever now. Wait, nuclear annihilation? In 10 seconds. What the heck? We got to get out of here, Melon. Eject. Eject. I'm trying. It won't let me. Oh, no. I just got teleported back home. I jumped up, Sonny, but I died as I jumped up. Bro. We just got exploded. Everything's destroyed, Sonny. What just happened? Bro, that is insane. I can't even respawn. Well, goats, that's how you activate the secret bunker's nuclear annihilation Easter egg. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more Who's Your Daddy, give us a like. Let's try and reach 5,000 likes. So, Melon, we're trying something new. Welcome to Who's Your Daddy. You're playing your favorite thing, the crying baby. Yeah.
Yeah, you're just being yourself. How does it feel? I'm speedrunning right now. Wait, what do you mean you're speedrunning? I actually can't see you. Get out of the washing machine, you monster! <laughs> what you say? I'm speedrunning. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, you almost died already. Stop. This is all I have. It's too dangerous. Don't go in there, you creepy, ugly baby. I'm a speedrunner. I'm trying to speedrun life. Just ruined my world record. Oh, your stretchy, disgusting arms. Can't have this. Hey, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. You can't have this. You also can't have this. No. You can't have any of it. Fine, I'll just do this then. Nope, you can't go in the car. Oh no, get out of the car. Get out of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle. Wait, you don't have a car key. You can't even do that. So yeah, waste your time. How do you know I don't have the car key? Uh, I guess I don't know that, but clearly you didn't start the engine. So I think I was correct. Hey, um, you see that over there? Over here? Yeah, right behind you. <laughs> Why am I so slow? What is happening? <laughs> Just waddle around, Melon. Just waddle around. I'd say you're kind of cute, but you look disgusting, uh -huh. actually, so. I was a very cute baby, I'll have you know. Your eyes are protruding out of your face. Your mouth looks like a vacuum cleaner, and your hands are built like freaking Stretch Armstrong. You're nasty. You look gross. You need this. Now I'm- Oh no, I slipped on the dining table. How does that happen? What? Baby, where'd you go? Stop bouncing like that. You're hurting yourself. Where'd you go? Ellen, are you in this? No. Where did you just go? I'm actually so confused. Are you in the fridge? No. <laughs> Where the heck did you just go? I'm getting into daddy's drinks. Oh, I see you. No, you can't have those. You cannot oh, no. have I'm, those drinks. Uh, that was too much. That was too much. Oh my God. <laughs> you have vomit laser beams. Stop. Oh my God. What is this? <laughs> I don't know what's happening to me. I can't get down there in time. Please, baby. Liv, you've turned into an alien. Eat this. No, what is that? No. Where'd you get the pills from? Drink this. No. You just put me to sleep. Good. That was far too close. I keep slipping <laughs> on things. Why am I so dumb? Now what are you gonna do, huh? I've got my eyes. Stop! I can't hang from the light fixtures. What is this? Melon, get down. I'm going <laughs> off. Did I save you? No, I just slipped on a table, of course. Stay away. No, I'm just blocking you out. I'm blocking out the haters. Oh no, he's too small. He can just walk through my legs. <gasps> one minute till mom's home. Oh no, I have one minute? That's right, sucker. No, stop slipping on things. Why am I so slow? Yeah, yeah, go in the kitchen. Good idea. Oh, you're so annoying. Yeah, what are you doing with that stretchy arm, huh? Waddle nice and slow. I got a clutch coming up. Yeah, you sure about that? Drink this. God damn it. No sleep. While I get the pills. No, you put me to sleep for 10 seconds. Pills, pills, pills. Where the heck are the pills? I'm in the bathroom. Where are the pills? I don't need bleach. No, give me the pills. Dang it. I can clutch. I can clutch. I can clutch. Baby, 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 baby. Eat this. Yo! Yes! You're done, Melon. No. Oh, just told me I exist. Eat some glass, baby. It's good for you. I still think mom will be upset that you let me eat glass. Oh. Wait, I just fed you the vacuum. Yes, I'm poisoned again. Why would that be an option? I don't know. It's so stupid. What's going on? I'm stuck in this drawer. Let me out. No, I don't want to be stuck. Stop it. <laughs> Melon, let me out of here. Sorry, what are you doing? Did I lose? I can't get out. <laughs> you played yourself. I am dying though, actually. What? I'm taking damage. My stomach is poisoned. Oh no. What the heck though? How do I get out of this thing? This is so dumb. I'm actually trapped. Please, I will be good baby if you let me out. How did you get stuck in there? I can't even like feed you anything. So I'm just gonna die slowly? This is awesome. I can't, I can't do anything. I can't even do anything. Being stuck in a drawer, it has its drawback. Oh my god. Now I'm leaving you in that drawer. Literally 15% health. I'm almost dead. I can't do anything. I am dead. Dude, that is the dumbest game ever. I couldn't do anything. Oh, Melon. I'm in the crib. But where is the crib is the question. I am not letting you die. I wouldn't be so sure there, Big Daddy. What are you doing? Just having a few sips of motor oil. It tastes kind of nice. Oh my god, I'm having explosive diarrhea. Dad, help. Dad, help, please. Dude, where are the pills? Dude, please. My butt can't handle much more of this. Oh my god. Where are you? I'm dying. Well, how did you do this this quickly? Where are you? This is disturbing on so many levels. Where did you go? Where else would motor oil be? How did you get to the garage already? Oh my god, I'm glitching out. That's where my crib was. Everybody knows baby's cribs belong in the garage next to motor oil and gasoline. What is wrong with Wait, why am I so slow? I don't know, Dad. Melon, Ooh. you're the worst father ever. I'm on fire! What is happening? Hell! Oh my god, I'm gonna die! 
dude. All right, Melon. Don't let me get away with another speed run. That was just tragic. This is a good run. This is a good run. I'm getting good stuff early. Yeah, this is the one. You're feeling it? I'm feeling it. It's just too many things for you to hurt yourself. Why do I hear the generator? I don't know. I just have some cooking oil. Cooking oil. Yeah. Oh my God. What the hell are you? Definitely not throwing candles at you. You're fine. As long as you're here. Nope, you're not going in there. Do you don't want to put me in this drawer again? You sure? No, I don't want to. You're the one who put me in there last time, by the way. What is this? Some trash? Ooh, that looks tasty. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm in the bin. Beep pop, boop, beep pop, exterminate, exterminate, exterminate. Oh my God, why is this garbage can coming towards me? <laughs> exterminate. <laughs> Yo, put me down. I'm going to explore somewhere else now. I'm just playing with my ball. And I need more pills. What is up here? A tablet. I just poisoned myself. Nicely done. And then you cured yourself. And then I ate a tablet. <laughs> oh my god. I'll eat this pear, don't worry. I cured myself. You don't need pills. I fixed myself. Nice. But now I'm gonna eat. What even is this? An Xbox? Perfect. No, how did you eat that? I don't know. I don't know how I managed to chew that. What is this? These crayons? Oh, I can draw on the wall, I hope. Yeah, aww. No, I fed you the vacuum cleaner again. That is so annoying. <laughs> I hate when that happens. I'm just trying to take care of my baby and Eat I fed this. it the vacuum cleaner again. <laughs> I have 20% poison. My stomach is dying right now. Good job, dad. There's no pills anywhere. What am I supposed to do? Go find some. Where would there be pills besides the kitchen? The bathroom. I tried the bathroom. You better search more thoroughly. I'm going on a grand tour. <gasps> Ooh, doggo. Let me ride him. Melon is the worst father ever. Oh my God. How am I supposed to like, what am I supposed to do? There's no pills anywhere. I don't know what you're supposed to do, but this doggo is taking me on my final journey. Oh, Melon. Dude. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Come out to the pool real fast. It's all over for this baby. No, you're too young Please. to die. Oh no, you're saving me. Just kidding. I'm dead. I see. Oh no. I drowned. I'm at the bottom of the pool. Oh no. Dude, there's like two pills on the whole map. You'll get one more try at being a dad. So I'll come clean, Melon. I spawned in the garage again. I won't light myself on fire this time. Pinky promise? I swear. I, I really mean it. I'm going to be a good baby. Why is this fire extinguisher freaking out? What the heck? Oh, it's probably because it wants me to put a screwdriver in an electrical socket. Ah! You already died? Wow. You know what? Maybe I'm just not fit to be a dad. Hey. Where are you going there, buddy? What are you doing? Take that. Chill, 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 chill. Whoa, where did you just go? Don't worry about it. Hello, baby. What's going on? Great escape. All right, this is a guaranteed death. I just made it to the second house. Stop me if you can. What? The second house? You're lying. What does that even mean? Come outside. If I could stop slipping on every object, I'd love to. Come outside. I'm opening the garage door. I'm almost outside. Uh, baby? Melon? Where are you? Is that you in this tree? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm not just gonna kill myself. I'm gonna kill you. No, you can't. The baby strikes back. Stop, no. Yes, yes, die, die. I'm coming back. Die. I'm coming back to keep you safe, son. No, no, no. It's gonna be okay. No. I'll get you a therapist. You're gonna be okay. I'm too fast, I'm too fast. Get off of that. How are you that quick? What, what are you gonna do, huh? Baby, stop it. You're out of control. What are you gonna do? Actually, this is perfect. I'm teaching you how to do chores from a young age. I'm like the best dad ever. Child labor, let's go. Big win. Okay, here. Yeah, keep cutting the lawn. Keep cutting the grass for me. Appreciate you. Keep up the good work there, baby. You think I don't see that? You think I don't see what's happening here? No! Take a pacifier and sleep one off. Oh God, I'm fast. Oh, stop slipping on everything, you buffoon. Yeah, don't check the pool or anything. I keep slipping on everything. Please, I can be a good father. Your baby's not drowning in the pool or anything like that. I got no! him. No! Oh my God, you fully healed me. How do I get you out of here? Get him out of the pool, dang it, game. Fine, I'll get out of the pool. Sleep oh. one off. Oh my god. I love how I just ram a bottle down your throat and just toss you on the floor like you're a piece of trash. I'm in your head. What are you doing with that couch? <laughs> what is going on? I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. It's, what is Oh this? my god! What is this? Come back, baby! <laughs> Where did you go? You're on the roof! I God. am God. What is going on? Melon, come back. 
You're a terrible father. I didn't know our couch had witchcraft. What is going on? This doesn't make any sense, but whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Wow, that brought a whole new meaning to couch surfing. I can't let you do this. You do that. Okay, I can, because apparently I can't move. I'm built different in a terrible, terrible way. Hey, I won. Wait, that was it? Oh my god, I didn't see the minute warning. I'm a great dad! Goats, my weird strict dad just came out with chapter four. And this might just be the hardest chapter yet, because we're stuck on an airplane, and our mom has become weirdly strict. Can we survive? Stick around to find out. Sonny, it looks like we're at some kind of airport here. And it's chapter four of Weird Strict Dad. The question is, what are we supposed to do in the airport? Uh, obviously our objective is to explore. Make sure the place is safe and then get on a flight. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. Is it because we're finally bringing our mom back home? I think that's the idea of this chapter. We gotta get on a plane back home. And let me say this, Sonny. This airport looks a little bit sketchy. Kind of looks abandoned to me. Not completely abandoned, bro. I see some guy over here. Hello, sir. Is everything okay? Hopeless. The entrance is blocked out. There's no way out. Oh, no. Sonny, we're stuck at the airport now. Are you kidding me? It's fine, Melon. Keep your cool. We're gonna figure out how to get out of this place one way or another. Sonny, I don't know what to do. We have to keep exploring. Obviously, there's gonna be more mysteries for us to uncover. All right, I'm going over this way. Maybe there's someone else at the airport, and hopefully they know the way out of here. Did you find anyone else back there? No, but I did find the entrance. But it's spelled completely wrong. Interesting. That gives me an idea. What if that's actually the exit? That would be quite nice, Sonny. But it's completely blocked off as well. Dang it, just like James said. There's no way out. But there has to be, bro. It's still midnight. We've barely even started the game now. There's gotta be something around here, Sonny. Keep looking around. Melon, I found a hammer. No way. You actually found a hammer, Sonny? Yeah, buddy, look at me. The question question is, what do I do with this thing? Maybe, Sonny, you can use it to clear the entrance. Let me give that a try. Hello, Mr. Entrance. I'm about to turn you into an exit. It's working. It's working. Sonny, keep slapping it. Don't stop. Okay, okay. I'm pressing open on this thing and I'm just smacking. Let's go. My game is going crazy, but nothing happened. Sonny, just keep going. Don't stop. I'm telling you, I've got a feeling about this. I don't know, bro. I feel like this is definitely not what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm telling you, Sonny. Keep going. Go and spam! I won't give up! Keep breaking, keep breaking, keep breaking. Is anything happening? Any day now, this entrance will open. I feel it, Sonny. I mean, I've smacked it with a hammer about 200 times now. You gotta keep on going! It actually freaking worked! We're out of here! Let's go! Should we go tell that other guy that we found a way out? Yeah, but is it a way out, Sonny? There's an invisible barrier. I can't leave! Dang it. And I see that dude still sitting over here. I'm gonna go talk to him again. Is that the same guy? Is that James? Wait, you're right. He looks a little bit different. That looks like a security guard or something. Yeah, wait. This this part of the airport looks kind of normal, and it seems like we actually have an employee here. Hello, what is your name? Wait, it is James. Look at that, bro. Yeah, something's not right here, Melon. I got a bad feeling. But now he's the check-in guy. Hello there. What a nice day today, eh? We'll begin boarding at 1 a.m. You guys could explore the airport more while waiting. Seriously? I feel like we've explored enough. Yeah, I feel like we've seen everything, James, but I guess we'll keep on exploring. Melon, maybe there's another hammer, but I won't cap. This is so weird. This is very weird. I don't like this airport one bit. And how is this abandoned airport still operating? How do we even get to this abandoned airport? Yeah, I'm trying to remember where we left off. We went on that crazy boat ride. We rescued rescued mom after the boss fight. And then I guess we were trying to take a flight back home. Then how did we walk into an abandoned airport and get trapped in said abandoned airport? It just doesn't make any sense. Don't question it, Melon. Just go with the flow. All right, it's boarding time. Get in the plane behind me. Oh, wait, that's it? We just had to let some time pass? I thought we needed to find something. All right, it's time to board the plane. I'm right behind you, broski. Nice, we both made it. And there's some life vests here. I'm gonna grab one just in case. And luckily for us, Sonny, there's actually other people on this flight. Our mom is here! Hello, mother. Oh, she makes a good point. All the other passengers look really sus. Nah, I'm sure they're fine, probably. They all kind of look like mannequins, bro. I don't know about this. Sonny, find a seat immediately! What the heck? I'm in it! <sighs> 
I was in the middle of getting in a seat, and then it killed me. Yeah, I was trying to tell you, bro, but you, oh, sometimes you just don't stop yapping. Yeah, because I'm yapping about something important. Yeah, and you died, Sonny. Because the thing I wanted to tell you is more important. It's time for us to chill and look out the window, Melon. What are you seeing? I'm seeing this guy's pale head. Yeah, he's kind of like a silhouette blocking out the window. Oh, no. Turbulence, Melon, on the liftoff. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. That is a lot of turbulence, though. Melon, don't get out of your seat, okay? It's gonna get you in trouble. A few moments later. Well, everything seems to be going smoothly, Sonny. I can't complain. Yeah, it's all a totally normal... Oh, no! That is not a totally normal airplane! Ow! What was that? Mom, don't worry. Oh, no, he's back! The demon! Hello there, ooh -woo. Why won't this guy just leave us alone? Why? And didn't we defeat him last time? And Sonny, why did everyone suddenly disappear? You're right, bro. Where'd those passengers go? It's just us and our mom now. I think something's up with mom. Why is she going in the cockpit? She's just gonna help fly. What the heck just happened to me? I died too. Why? Revive one time. Better work again. Dude, that was redu- I'm gonna die again. What the heck? What are we supposed to do? Oh my goodness. We have to revive ourselves once she's not mad. Okay, but then is the game gonna end? Oh no, Sonny. I think we're in the cockpit, and I think that's an immediate death. Hold on, I'm trying to revive now. Yeah, I'm on it. Get out of here. Get out of here, Sonny. We're not supposed to be in the cockpit ever. I'm trying to revive, bro. We're only in the start of the game. I just got the tutorial pop-up. We can do this, though. Our game is totally bugged. Oh ah, no! Melon, it still says go to your seat. Why'd you get up? Because I don't have any notifications, Sonny. Then just wait for me. We have to fix a window, restart the generator. There's a lot to do right now. Dude, this game is impossible! Sonny, what are you doing? It said get out of your seat and fix things, and then the second I got out of my seat, she started attacking again. I think I think the game's bugged, Sonny. I'm gonna be honest. It's okay, I'm filling up the gas can. I did it! I did it! My sacrifice should not be in vain! This game is broken! This game is broken! Go away, Mom! Yeah, Sonny, I think we're gonna have to restart, because I this is definitely not normal. Just wait, don't revive, don't chill. Wait for it. Dude! Yeah, you, you can't, you can't play this. This is impossible. One reset later. Hey, Melon, we're back in the airplane, and everything seems totally normal. Whatever you do, Sonny, do not get out of your seat, or Mom will kill you! And we'll glitch our game all over again. So let's just chillax, relax, and wait for the game tutorial to appear. Hello, Mom. How are you doing? Hey, Mom, check on me, too! Aw, she doesn't even care about me, Mel. Our objective's very simple, Sonny. Don't ever come or touch the cockpit. That's it? That was the only step? Oh, and stay seated while the seatbelt sign is on. Gotcha. Easy enough. Hey, I've got a life vest on. And we must fix windows when there's explosions, Melon. We must also still eat food, which is key. Ramen noodles, of course. Ah, uh, Sonny. And we gotta fill up the generator. Sonny, hurry up, get your food, we're running out of time! All right, all right, I was reading the tutorial, Cheers. Sonny, you're gonna starve. Oh no. I'm going to my seat. Oh no, I might starve to death. I have a life vest, bro. If I hold up my life vest, I take less damage. I'm dead. I'm just died of starvation. Sucks to be you. What is the go to the seat thing? That is such crap! Bro, the game is- the game is trash. You can't play this game. I wait patiently, mom goes away, and then it says I can get out of my seat, but by then, she immediately comes back and starts chasing us! Okay, I revived this time, Sonny, and things are somehow working. I refilled the oxygen, cooking up some nudes, everything is working. Yeah, good for you. I think it's a one-player game, because I can't revive now, and the only reason it's working for you is probably because I'm not reviving. Oh no, seatbelt time. I've gotta go to sleep! And by that, I mean sit down. You might be right, Sonny. Maybe two players glitches this game. It definitely does, and I can't revive anymore. My game is fully glitched. Well, Sonny, I guess you'll have to spectate me. You got this, Melon. I'll try my darn tootin' best. I'm thirsty right now. You gotta hydrate that wander, Melon. That I do. I've also gotta get ready. I've gotta repair the windows if they explode. Did you refill the Jenny? Jenny's at 73 right now. We're chillin'. Really nice. I'm looking for any broken windows for you. Everything looks good. Everything looks pretty alright here. I've even got myself some cooked noodle and a glass of water. 
daughter. Well played. Hello, mother. You will not get me. And Sonny, there's an exploded window. I've got to go repair that in a second. You got this, bro. Just wait for mom to go away and then go patch up the window. Okay, this looks very rusty. Fix. Oh, that is a long fixer. And it's right next to mom. What if she comes out of the cockpit and murders me? Cooking some noodles. Sonny, this game's actually quite easy when it's not glitched. Yeah, that must be nice, brother. Mine glitched so hard that it perma-killed me. Yeah, I think last time my game was the problem. Because, not gonna lie, I had no thirst, no hunger, nor energy. Didn't know the time. I couldn't see anything. Yeah, that doesn't sound very healthy. Oh my goodness! The heck? It's doing the glitch again, where she instantly gets out of her cockpit area to come kill you. Yes, I know I've got to fix the broken window game, but I can't right now. You got this, Melon. Nice! Polish up that rust. Come on, come on. Fix that window. Get back to the back of the plane. Drink my water. Check on the Jenny, brother. Oh, that's a good call, Sonny. There's only 17 left on that bad boy. It is 2 a.m., Melon. Four more hours and you should be safe. Oh my goodness, this is actually not gonna be... Seatbelt time! Dang it! Sit down, relax, watch a movie. Bro, it is so buggy. I think you need to wait extra long when she goes away. Yeah, I think you're right, Sonny. Don't move. Don't move. Oh, okay. You risked it. I had to, to fix the broken window. I think she might just come out twice. Maybe. Yeah, it's a double take each time. It's okay, it's glitched, but not totally glitched, Sonny. Oh, no. Let me sit! Dang it! Why won't you let me sit? Did that really just happen, bro? It's okay. I can revive myself. Bro, it's the never-ending loop, I'm telling you. But at least now it's 3 a.m. I revive myself. That worked. Maybe I can actually cook some noodles, too. I like how my dead body is still just tied in the seat. Yeah, bro, it's perfect. You're constantly sitting down, Sonny. If I win, you win. And if you win, we win. Let's go. Seatbelt time. All right. I waited a second there. Man, I must have the craziest metabolism ever if I need to eat four to five times overnight or I'll die of hunger. Yeah, that is pretty over the top. The only part that makes sense is fixing the windows. And you are a watermelon, so you do need to hydrate a lot. And also, I feel like the generator should crash the plane if it goes out. Not run out of oxygen, but what do I know? It's just the oxygen generator, bro. It's not the engine. Sorry, I guess that kind of makes sense. It definitely makes more sense than the house ones. Yeah, that's true. Where even is my mom? Is it glitched, bro? Is she not even showing up? Oh, now she's coming out. Bro, she is moving different. It's 4 a.m. I can actually do this. I believe in myself. Oh, I gotta refill the Jenny. There we go. Filled up. Oh my goodness, this is redonkulous. Quick, get in your seat. Oh, that was close, Melon. I like to walk up to the edge, Sonny, and dip my toes off it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill out. We don't need to be taking these types of risks, Melon. Please, let me sit. Thank you. Wait, she's not even showing up, bro. It's it's a fake. It's a fake. Oh, now she's showing up. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> bro, that was clutch. Here we go. I can get up now. Oh, come on. <laughs> Dude, it is so toxic. You can't stand up for even a second. Come on. Does it end at 6 a.m.? Does all of this end soon, please? Yeah, hopefully we get a real pilot and mom gets forced to sit down. Is there an exploded window? I haven't seen one of those in a while. No, no exploded windows. Everything is looking good on this plane. And Sunny, the sun is rising. Please tell me it's coming to an end. I hope so. I don't want to deal with this monster anymore. I'm tired of it corrupting our parents. I think it's over, Sonny. I think. I've officially won. The oxygen melon. Got it. I got it. Oh no, I don't got it. I don't got it. Hang it, mom. Leave me alone so I can fill the oxygen up. Wait, wait, hold. Go, go, go. Yes, I got it off. I got it off in time. Holy smokes, melon. That was so clutch. How low was your health? Uh, I'm actually not even close to dying, but it's okay, Sonny. We did it. What's going on? Murder, murder. Passengers to your seats. Passengers to your seats. Come on. Please tell me we can survive this. Actually, wait, both the pilots are dead. Oh, where the heck are we? I think you actually did it. Bro, it looks like we crash landed in a forest. My weird strict dad is getting crazy. And I just hope the next chapter's not so freaking glitchy. I wanna play. Maybe you'll be able to play in the next chapter. And goats, if you wanna see us play the next chapter of My Weird Strict Dad, make sure you like the video. And press the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Today we speedrun My Weird Dad chapter two. Chapter two is a little different than chapter one. Not only do we have to survive by filling up the generator, eating and drinking water, but we also have to 
to look for clues around the house. Once we find all seven clues, it'll give us the formula for a potion. We can make this potion and then feed it to our dad to make him normal again. But oh no, mom, don't. Yes, dad, we'll cook your noodles. Chill. Why does he always want ramen noodles? It doesn't matter if it's 5 a.m. or 5 p.m. All he wants is noodles. Bruh, he's just a fan of the ramen, I guess. You know, you can't blame him. Yeah, I guess we do make some good crispy noodles. Like, yeah, dude. Sonny, it's time we eat. Oh, that was scrumptious. And now, Dad, whatever you do, don't answer the door. It's late at night and nothing good happens when your doorbell rings at night. No, 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 no. Bro, we went through this last night. Don't go out there. You got possessed. Dad, chill. At least wait for Mom to get back and then you can answer the mysterious door knocks. I have a feeling he's gonna be an idiot, Melon. He's gonna go answer the door, isn't he? Sonny, I, I really don't like this. Grab your water. Fill it up. Good idea. Drinking glass. Sonny? Yeah? Dip. Dip. Dip, ah! Sonny! Dip! Why does he look so cursed? I'm sprinting! Get in a cabinet game! Hide! That was so close. Okay, Sonny, do you see that? Do you hear that? We're getting weird whispers, squid on the wall, math on the wall, and heaven. And an egg. Bro, we're discovering so many mysteries. Let me out of this closet. There we go. Thank you. I'm gonna go start putting those in the book, bro. Wait, skip this. We don't need a tutorial. We good. Yeah, hold on. Uh, here we go. Battery. Okay, I'm opening the door. I need the key. Give me that boy. Uh, uh alchemy book, Melon. And alchemy book. You study the notes. Put the clues in. Stairway to heaven. Uh, is there dripping milk in here? No dripping milk. No. Random math equations. Squids. Eggs. I'm missing one. Uh, I'll check for donuts. Heaven. Picture of squid. Egg. Random math equations. I'm just filling up the old Jenny. Melon, there's no donuts on this table. I'm missing one though. We had five. Random whispering. Okay, okay. Now we just need... Are we getting random blurred ver visions? No. No donuts. Random food appearing? Yeah, I see a hot dog right here. It's got mustard on it. Ew. Sonny, find a place to hide. Yep, I'm getting back in the locker. And uh, Sonny, we're gonna need to fill up the Jenny. Did you do that? I already did that, but I'm starting to get hungry, bro. Yeah, bro. It's probably a good idea that we uh maybe fill up our hunger bar a little bit. Yeah, let's go snack on some noodles once dad goes back to sleep. There we go. Do you have all the clues yet? How are we looking? We just need one more clue, Sonny, but I'm gonna go and get some food first. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's see. Oh, sleep. I don't need energy. What am I doing? Drinking glass. Fill this up. Yeah, you know what? I'll just top the Jenny up again anyway. I need to eat some noodles. I gotta look at the things again. Hold up. We're just missing one. I don't know what it could be, bro. I'm looking around. Any ideas? Doors opening by itself. Paintings shining. Milk leaking. Random burning objects. I don't see any fire. I have a feeling it's the doors, bro. Click the doors. See if the recipe pops up. Okay, doors, doors, doors. Where is that? That. Sonny, I'm blind. Dude, if you have six things, just randomly click for the seventh. Yeah, bro, but there's different recipes. I don't want to give us the wrong one. No, there aren't. As long as we hide and dad goes to do his thing, we'll be chilling. Come on, dad, leave already. Hey, Melon, just find the recipe in the book. If you have six things, you're fine. Oh, wait, there is milk dropping from the ceiling. Oh, you're right. Milk leaking. We believe that the potion is an angel's noodle nirvana. Yeah, great. Get the, get the noodles. I'm getting the gas and I'm filling up the Jenny. Okay, then I'll tell you what to get. And I'm eating food. I'm really hungry, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm getting hungry, too, bro. This is actually getting close. All right. What do I need? All right, dude. I might die here, but it's okay for the cause. Get angel wings. Got it. Spaghetti and meatballs. Got it. Milkshake. Got it. Brain. Got it. Lava egg. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get inside of something. Take cover. That was close. Melon, what else do we need? Are you going to die? Did you get the lava egg? No, I haven't found that yet. Come on. Come on. Sony, I think I'm going to have to run up for food. Just, just tell me what it is. Quick. Sacrifice yourself. Dang it, dude. I don't want to die. I'm too young and handsome. I got the lava egg. Squid and then cat. Ears. Okay, run for it. I got everything for the potion. I need food. I'm so hungry, Sonny. I don't want to die like this. I'm also thirsty. I'm also thirsty. Pour myself water. I've got the angel's noodle nirvana. Drink the water. Eat the noodles. And Sonny, give that boy that potion. Oh, I did. Dad, come back to us. Let's go. Yeah, we actually did it, Melon. That was low-key a speed run. That was, bro. We sped run this game so quick. And what is Dad doing, bro? He's kind of freaking out. Hey, dad, you're back. It's so good to see you. Look at that smile. He's back to normal. You got possessed, bro. We said not to go outside and you went outside and then you almost killed us. And yeah, you know, you're a terrible father. And let me guess the next time there's a knock on the door, you're going to answer it again. Or did he finally learn his lesson? I really hope he learned his lesson, dude. Only time shall tell. Yeah, of course you should have listened to us, dad. Why would we lead you wrong? We care about you. We love you, papa. At least he apologized, Melon. Yeah, it's okay, dad. I'm going to get some water. 
water, bro. I need some hydration before I go to bed. Let's have a good old breakfast at 6 a.m. That sounds great. The thanks, Dad. Thanks. Yeah, that's too early, bro. I don't want to get up that much. Beautiful crispy noodles for breakfast. I just love crispy noodles. I ate everyone's noodles. Give me these. Mom! Mom! No way! Our mother, she's returned. We missed you too, Mom. We missed you more, actually. A lot more. Yeah, you came home late. Dad got possessed twice and tried to kill us. It's okay, Mom. Eat with us. That's Cap. If that really happened, I would not be too pleased with my parents. But at least we're reunited as one big happy family. I feel amazing, Dad. So happy that Mom's here. Yeah, exactly. Very, very happy. Yeah, I missed her so much. This story, this music, the peace and serenity. And now there's another knock. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Mom, don't answer that door. Don't answer that door. Oh, no, Melon. This is not good. Don't go out there, Mom. She's gonna do it. No. Mother, why? Ah, look at her face. And she's gone. But wait, the crazy guy, he left his weapon. Yo. Melon, I can't wait for chapter three. We could probably pick up his weapon and finally defeat the evil monster. Yeah, dude, it's about time. And it's also about time to press that like button. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel to get goaded. Guys, Sunny and I are spending the weekend with our dad that we haven't seen in a while, and he's acting really weird. We got a suspicious knock at our door and our dad went to check it out. But when he came back, he ended up being crazy. Will Sonny and I be able to survive the night? Okay, we just got in the garage. We're here with our weird strict dad. I don't really know what we're supposed to do, Melon. Probably open this door, I guess, Sonny. Yeah, let's just follow the objectives and try not to upset this guy. Okay, clean trash. I don't really want to mess with him, Sonny. I don't know what he's going to do to us if we don't clean up. I know, and there's just trash bags everywhere. Look at this guy. Wait, is this our dad or this kind of looks like a normal player? I can't really tell if it's our dad or not but I'm gonna assume that's our father. All right, you clean up that last bit of trash and we'll see what we gotta do next. Oh wait, there's more. I can refill this generator. Well, I'm just taking out all the garbage, bro. Is there more upstairs? Bro, there's literally garbage everywhere. Help me out. Bro, why does this guy just leave his trash bags on the floor? This is gross, dude. I think these are the last bags though. Prepare instant noodles for dinner with dad in the kitchen. Dad's noodle zero, your noodle zero out of two. Melon, that was definitely our dad. He is now in the kitchen and no longer watching. TV. He probably wants some of his noodles. Sonny, let's get doing this quick because I feel like he's not going to be very happy if it's not done. I know, I know. Okay, I'm putting the raw noodles on the stove. Relax. Come on. You need raw noodles to cook. Oh my goodness. It let me hold the button down the entire time. That is so annoying, bro. And cook my noodles. Oh, those look crispy, bro. Yeah. There you go. But where's our noodles? You have them and I'm going to cook another one for myself. What if I just ate? Don't do that. I just ate. You idiot. I'm gonna eat his noodles. Bro, we're back at zero noodles. Uh, yep, hold on. Let me cook some noodles, Sonny. Yeah, cook those noodles, dude. I'm clearly the favorite son. That's why dad had me make his crispy noodles. That's not true, bro. Put your noodles on the table and sit down. How do I sit? Okay, there we go. Oh, that was a delicious dinner. Who said dad was weird? He seems really nice. How was that, dad? That's good. Uh, uh, me too, same. Anyways, Melon, it's time for us to refill the generator before the power goes out. Generator's right here, buddy. Take the gas can and... And refill. I don't think it's very safe to just leave gas here. Why is our dad so creepy? He looks normal to me. And who's at the door? I wonder who's knocking outside. Yeah, me too, dad. Dad will go outside to check. Oh, you're right. His little portrait head is so weird. You guys can watch TV while I'm outside. Okay, father. Yes. Sonny, we can't stay up past 10 p.m. Got it. I'm going to enjoy some TV. Or dad will be angry. We get it, dad. Go check who's outside for the next one hour while we watch TV. Oh, this is my favorite channel. I feel like we should go to sleep because I don't want to be awake past 10 p.m. Yeah, but it's not even 10 p.m., bro. Our bedtime's 10 p.m. If you go to bed at 9 p.m., dad might be angry. Where's my bedroom? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna shut the lights off and head to sleep. All right, fine. I'll come upstairs. You got another bunk bed in there? Turn on the air conditioner. Turn off the lights. Close the door. Oh, sorry. My bad. Night, night. Turn off all the lights in the house. Oh, no. Sonny, this is a lot harder than I thought. Oh, Okay. Yeah, we don't want to be wasting any electricity. If dad finds out we do that, he'll be really angry. Sonny, and we got to do this all before 10 p.m. I'm going, I'm going. Lights out. There's one more here. I got it. Lights out. Close the door. Yep, looks normal to me. All right, Sonny, come up here. I got to shut these lights down. Hold on, let me in. And good night. Sonny, there's still lights on in the house. I checked everywhere. Sonny, what have you done? Melon, you don't understand. There's probably a locked door. Let me check. Oh, I found it. It was the bathroom. It's 10 p.m. Sonny, get to sleep. Turn on the downstairs TV. I got to turn the 
TV on, Melon. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Sunny, it's already 10 p.m. It's okay. I got the TV on. Wait, hear the news. Whoa. <laughs> That's so funny. The guy who was knocking on our door is now on the news. That's not good, Sunny. I don't know. What if he's just a door-to-door -door salesman? Melon, maybe we need to call the police. Dad said he's going to be mad at us. Yeah, I, I just heard the news and it's still 10. Oh, no. It's 11 p.m. Sunny, we got to make sure dad's okay. This guy might have murdered him. No, he wouldn't murder our dad. Our dad is the creepy, weird one. That's locked. Okay. Whoa, who turned that light on? Oh, you did. That was me, Sonny. Dude, look how sus this imposter is. Yo, what the heck? They got a big chin. I'm turning the lights off, bro. Why are we turning the lights off? I, I don't know. We got to go upstairs and check the CCTV. I don't know where the CCTV is, though, Melon. Do you? Oh, I would like to have a light on. Thank you. What, you don't like being blind? Not particularly, Rory. Oh, the computer. Dude, check it. Uh, Sonny, uh... What the heck happened to that guy? What guy? I don't see anything. Uh, go to sleep, Sonny. Go to sleep. I turned the lights off. I'm getting into bed. Chill. I can't see anything. I'm blind. Okay, I turned the lights off. We should be fine. We're in bed. Yo, who is this weird dude? It looked like the guy possessed our dad or our dad killed the guy. It was really weird on the CCTV cam. Okay, because I didn't see the CCTV, so I'm trusting you. Okay, it's midnight. Are we supposed to get out? Oh, no. Four gas cans. CCTV. Sleep when dad is coming. Okay, we need to be quick, Melon. Use the CCTV wisely to save it because you're sleeping dad is coming. Crouch is safer than walking. Sleep to fill energy. Eat to be full. Now, what are we supposed to do? Our objective is to survive the night. Why don't we just stay in bed all night? Crouching is safer than walking, Sonny. Yo, look at your goofy legs. Go to sleep. Sleep. Okay, I'm closing the door. Lights out and bed. Melon, this is going to be really creepy. This is not nice. This is no bueno. Yo, he's checking on us. I think he ran downstairs. I hope so. Is it going to be 1 a.m. now? It's still midnight, bro. The clock has not even moved forward. I'm going to check the CCTV. Where is dad? He's watching TV, but he's sleeping. I'm going to go make some food. I'm hungry. I'm going right behind him slowly. And I'm running. Food, 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 food. I got noodles, Melon. I'm making noodles. Yeah, foods might be good. And why don't you check the old Jenny? The old Jenny. I got some noodles. I ate the noodles. I'll make you noodles. Sonny, we ran out of generator. Oh, no. I thought that was dad. Melon, we're going to run out of oxygen if you don't fix the generator. Oxygen? What the heck? What kind of house are we in? Melon, just refuel it. I fixed it. Okay, good. Go! Run! Come on. Close door. Lights out. Close door. Bed. No, I needed that bed, Melon! Oh, that was close. That was way too close, Sonny. How's your hunger level? I'm starving soon. It's okay. I have cooked noodles on the table for you. As soon as I can, I'm going to go downstairs and eat. Really weird that I'm this hungry that I have to eat multiple times throughout the night just to survive. It's because we're just eating dried crispy noodles. They don't have a lot of calories. Crouch. I can't see a thing. I'm dying. Just run. Make a run. I can't see anything. Where are the noodles? No. If your hunger was that low, why did you listen to me and go slow? What the heck? Bro, I didn't know I'd die that quickly. Yeah, you, you literally died in like two seconds. I guess I'll eat these noodles. I couldn't see a thing either, bro. How could you navigate down there? Is it real? Oh, no, I'm dead. I'm so dead. No, what the heck? That was cursed. He got out of the couch instantly. That is not great. Melon, can we respawn? Is there Robux pay to win? I don't think so, Sonny. I don't think so. You're kidding me. We lost at 2 a.m. We were close. Yeah, true. Because everyone knows the day starts at 3 a.m. Like the rock. Melon, I don't want to play this game anymore. Our dad is way too weird. Yeah, I'm with you, Sonny. So make sure you guys like and subscribe to get us out of here. Today, Sonny and I are going to be discovering the sad, sad origin story of my weird strict dad. Guys, I kind of feel bad for him, but at the same time, he's so evil. Sonny, have you ever wondered why our dad is so strict? Bro, and so weird? Well, today we're gonna find out. Let's check out Game Tunes origin story of my weird strict dad. Which, by the way, bro, we could never even beat this game. Here we go. Who is this mysterious masked figure? And he always makes our dad go crazy! Yo, speaking of our dad, bro, we could never beat this game on Roblox. It is so hard. Bro, it's cursed. Look at that smile, Merlin. <laughs> he wants cooked crispy ramen noodles. Oh, it's no. Your bedtime. Dad, what's going on with you? Who's that man outside? Don't you recognize me, Sadia? Yo, what? It's even creepier now that the dad has a voice. Hey, over here. Exactly, right, bro. To the bedroom if you want to live. They gotta go to sleep quick. Bruh. Quick, jump in bed and look asleep. I love when the big He's bro knows here. what's up. Turn the lights off. Now. Yo, this guy's on the CCTV. You four better be asleep. It's well oh. past your bedtime. <laughs> Bedtime, yes. 
Oh, this is weird. Yo. I'm grateful children. I'm trying oh, to no. teach you a lesson. I will whip you into responsible, respectful adults. I will not no. let you have the same childhood as me. Do you hear me? No. Not like me at all. Do you think he had the easiest childhood, Sonny? Oh no, Melon. I have a bad feeling he had a rough childhood and that's why he's so weird and creepy. Let's find out. From as early as I could remember, my life was hard. All oh. my parents ever did no. was fight and yell at each other. You're what? being too hard on him. He's just a kid. I don't care what you say. I'm going to raise him however I see fit. Just look at him now, slacking off. <laughs> he should be cooking dinner and take- Yo, the dad wants his kid to make him dinner? He's just a kid, bro. What are you going to get? Macaroni and cheese every night? Maybe some cereal? Come on. Yeah, bro, you ain't going to be eating good. Get out all the trash. He needs to learn to pull his own weight around here. My father was very hard on me, you see. Always ordering me around and forcing me to do anything he wanted. I'm gonna be honest, bro. Doing a couple of chores like taking out the trash is actually a good thing. That's what builds strong responsibility instincts. Yeah, but Sonny, this guy seems a little bit meaner than that. Well, I guess we'll find out. So far, he's not too bad. Oh! You're still not done. I'm sorry. It's just such a big house and there's so much trash. And Get it done now or else. Jeez, but this guy's not nice. Was ever good enough for him. He was even strict with my mother. Okay, yeah, he what seems really this? mean. Where's my ramen? We can't eat ramen every night, honey. <laughs> just Bro, he only eats ramen. Pepperoni pizza? No good. Ramen noodle only. Bro, this guy's on a strict diet. Yeah, and he's he's pretty mean about it, too. Let's try the pizza. I bet you'll like it. Why is it impossible for either of you to do anything right? You know what? That's it. Whoa! Instant divorce! <laughs> Non-negotiable, Melon! She's out, just like that! Oh wait, no. It's gonna only get worse for the dad now. You're right, and then he's probably gonna get more strict, and then that's why this dude, he's just mimicking his father. That's what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. The dad in this story, who's actually our granddad, is gonna be extra mean, and our dad's gonna turn out rotten. What? In my heart, I knew my parents separating was for the best, but it still hurt. Oh, he said. It led to a tough decision. I had to choose which of my parents to stay with. Oh, no. Mom or father. I'd be lying if I said it was a hard choice. Mom! I was going to say, bro, that's an easy one. Mama. <laughs> Instantly, bro. Yeah, his dad was not very nice. Yeah, plus she can make ramen and pepperoni pizza. Aww. Ungrateful brat as always. Good luck, you two. You'll come back. You need me. Oh. Somehow my father began to resent me even more. <laughs> Yo, Mom what? And I did TV dinner dates every Friday. We hung out all the time, going to the mall. Oh, that's so zoo. cute. She even helped me join the baseball Whoa, team. bro, he had such a wholesome upbringing. That's awesome. With his mom, at least. Something bad's gonna happen, though, Sonny. Yeah, his dad's gonna show up and be like, Listen to me, boy! Take out the trash! He lived my life. She let me be a kid and have fun the way it was supposed to be. And then my world was shattered. Out of nowhere. Oh, no! Sick. Really? I bet you the dad poisoned her, bro. Promise me you'll be okay without me. Without you? Mom, that's not going to happen. Oh, sweetheart. No! This got so sad and dark so quickly. I mean, Never I mean yeah, it was pretty dark the whole time, but yeah. I love you. I love you, son. Goodbye. No! Mom! Mom! No! No! illness, leaving me alone. At least, I thought, it turns out, being alone would have been a better option than what really happened. Oh no, Hello, his dad. Son. Ready to come home again? I had no choice. Did his dad Father kill his mom, you think? I, I don't think he killed his mom. I think he's just a real jerk. Or he slowly poisoned her. Well, we're gonna find out. Hurry up already! 
That generator is not going to refuel itself. We only have a couple Yo, of we're back in the game, Lord. Now, take out the trash and turn off all the lights. But, Dad, I don't backsass me. Do as you're told. <laughs> Trash. If I was lucky. <laughs> Bedtime. It's a screen time before. What are you doing out of bed? It's 10 p.m. Wait, that's where the CCTV computer came in too. Yo, you're right. Lights out. Man, his dad really I is strict. Living in that house with him, and I vowed to be a better parent if I ever had a son. Life went on like that for years, until finally I was old enough to strike out on my own. Yo, he's gonna move out, get his own crib. Let's go! Alright, get to bed. It's almost your bedtime. No, Dad. You must have forgot that this is my house and I make the rules. I'm all grown up now, Dad. I'm old enough to make my own rules. Yo! Where are you going? I'm getting out of here. <laughs> oh, no, I'm moving no. out, it's Dad. I don't need time. you no more. I am your father. Listen to me! I never want to see you again. I'm never coming back. Rot! You'll be back! You can't make it on your own! Did you I think he made it on his own? We're about to find out, bro. He's gonna go look at rental properties and see if he can afford to pay the bills. We had... I had nowhere to go. But anywhere was better than home with that man. I knew I'd need a roommate if I wanted to afford living away from my dad. So I reached out to a listing I found. The most perfect woman in the world. Hey, oh, his future wife. I, uh... Yo, hard eyes, bro. That's love at first sight. Oh, yeah. Yes, but you're a... Girl, <laughs> why don't we get coffee and see if we're a good fit? S sure. And it turned out... Wow. We quickly fell Yo, they were a really good fit, bro. They got that married and had kids. Life. That is crazy, dude. <laughs> Oh, so sweet. They had so many children. No, oh, Melon, don't tell me. Not his wife, too. I have a feeling something bad happens to her, just like his mom. Oh, yeah, his wife is totally dead. Oh, no, this is gonna be sad. I can't believe our sons are all grown up now. Well, they may be adults, but they're still living at home. Oh, they'll move out soon enough. I think they keep wanting to stick around because you're such a great dad. Aw. Thanks, honey. Oh, things seem to be going well. They're I so cute. By that point, yeah, but now there's see. bad weather and a car crash. Yo, dodge the log! Oh, don't dodge the log! Oh no! Oh no! Not again! I was completely unscathed, but my wife, she wasn't so lucky. Just like my mother. I lost her. This guy has such a sad origin story. Yeah, I, I, I feel really terrible for him now. I thought he just basically got infected by a monster or a ghost, but turns out he had a terrible past. Was I ever going to stop suffering my entire life? Jeez. Nothing was in my control. Nothing. It seemed like I was doomed to be alone. All my Bro, you have four sons still. You're not alone. You're fine. You have kids. Bro, yeah. Is stripped of me, my mother, my childhood, my wife. I finally lost it. Wait, what? We made your world famous ramen, Dad. Everyone's favorite. Oh no. After dinner, do you think we could watch some TV together? Melon, the background music's really eerie. I think he's about to lose it. Yeah, he's about to be weirdly strict. At that moment, something inside me snapped. The love of my life was dead. A rage came over me. And I became oh. the one thing I swore I'd never become. A weird, strict dad. No! No. Oh, where did he just get trash bags from out of nowhere? Like, what? I'm so angry! Have this trash! Bro, he's weirdly strict. He wants to see his sons do chores constantly, so he just keeps them in his closet. Right. I think we need to start making some big changes around here. Oh, no. Clean up the trash and get to bed before 10 p.m. But, Dad, you never gave us chores before. 
And since when do we have a bedtime? All right, I'm gonna be honest, that's weird. Your kids should have chores for sure. It's part of your maturity development. And then a bedtime, I mean, that's not so bad, but maybe 10 p.m. is a little early, maybe like 10.30. Bro, what if these guys are like 20? Yeah, I mean, they do live at home still, so that's their fault. I'm warning you boys. If you don't do what I say, I'll... Who could that possibly be? You four, get to bed by curfew. I mean it. You think that's his dad? Oh my goodness, Sonny, you might be right. Granddad's coming to really whip these kids into shape. Super ultra mega strict granddad inbound. Whoa. Bro, that is still creepy. No. Good boys. What is wrong with dad? Didn't you see the television announcement earlier? A mysterious man is going around possessing people. But it only lasts until 6 a.m. Well, I can't wait that long. I need to get out of here. Wait, don't! Oh, no. He's done for, Melon. He's absolutely finished. Bro, the door's for sure gonna be locked. Yo! Oh, no, boy. Let me out, let me out! Sorry. It looks like you're grounded, champ. Oh no. Oh no! What? He killed his own son. Melon, that was unexpected. He turned into one of those crazy possessed noobs. You're right, dude. I don't like this. I'm scared. Can we just go to the next video? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. That's a good idea. Shout out to Game Tunes for this origin story, but it was too scary!